The New York Jets signed Joe Namath out of Alabama, I think in 1964, and they paid him $400,000. And this was an astonishing amount of money for a football player. I mean, because I lived in New York at the time. There were just columnists and people predicting doom and gloom and, you know, how could they take this party guy and, and, and throw all this money at him and et cetera, et cetera. Well, the average salary, uh, the, the rookie minimum salary in the NFL now is over half a million anyway. So 400000 is nothing. Uh, but it did change the way, uh, the way people, the way fans, the way the media looked at athletes because all of a sudden we realized that these people were, were huge commodities who could, make, who could command incredible sums. But it might not have been bad because, number one, their careers are very short, and number two, as a friend of mine who used to play offensive line in the NFL, Carl Mock was fond of saying, uh, every player in this game is one play away from never walking again. Uh, and, and we sometimes tend to forget the incredible violence inherent in the game and how difficult it is to play and how many people come out of it scarred for life. And uh, that's the part that kind of brings you back down to earth and makes you realize, you know, having, having seen the NFL up close for 30 years, those guys deserve every cent they can get, as far as I'm concerned. I don't care how high def TV gets. I don't care how many camera angles there are. I don't care if you go to 3D. I don't care what it is. Until you stand on the sidelines at an NFL game, and I mean not a seat in the first row. I mean on the sideline, six feet away from what's happening. Until you go in the locker room and you see what those guys look like after games, you can't understand the price that these men play, uh, pay to play this game. It's horrible. It's a terribly violent game. And basically what it is is 120 street fights. Each play is a street fight, and each play is vicious, and each play is brutal. I have fans all the time say, well, you know, so-and-so, he didn't, he didn't reach out to catch that ball. I could have made that catch. No, you couldn't. You don't have a prayer. And when you see guys after games have to be help, helped on with their shirts because they can't lift their arms up, or you see, I mean, I, I would see guys, you know, I'd have to help them zip their equipment bags up because they couldn't, their hands were so beaten and their fingers were so broken they couldn't zip their bag to leave to go to get on the bus. Uh, it's, a, it's a brutal, brutal game. And even though television's capacity to broadcast it has improved, that part of it can't be shown. The only place you can ever see that is on the sideline.